Hey guys, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Guys, when my mechanic had put my um that little adapter onto my hose that um that lady gave me that Edomite that I told y'all gave me that um uh adapter to put on my water hose, man. You'll see. Okay, guys, I fixed it. Now you don't see no more dripping. Let me try to zoom in so y'all can see because I ain't finna open up this window. But yeah, you'll see where it's not dripping no more when I turn on the water. Because I ain't know what the hell was going on. And I'm like, I just uh, practiced turning it on. So I had to take my pliers. Let me pull this back. Can't be zoomed in. I had to um pull, get my little, them pliers that my um mechanic, my personal mechanic gave me. Let me get back down. Hold on, guys. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, Lord. Um, nose itching. I had to use those little, this right here. And I had to kind of keep turning um, the adapter that he had attached for me. And then it was shifted. I could tell. Now I understand why it was dripping like that. It was shift like to the whole left or the right and then i took these and kept tightening it up and then i shifted to the center and middle center it to the middle and that's when it uh to the middle meaning to position it center center it so it's straight down you know going the way it's supposed to oh shit i need to put that up so now as y'all can as y'all can see it's no longer dripping I woke up um this morning. He kept doing it all last night. It was super wet. I'm like, man, it's always something. But thank the most high he gave me the understanding it, that it was a quick fix. So I just told my mechanic he don't have to um come out here because I think I think I got it. Cause as y'all can see it went it went doing it no more, even when I turned on the water. So I kept turning on the water and kept looking at it and I ain't see nothing, which whether you had the water on or not, it was continually dripping because the water, once you turn on the actual city water, it flows through um constantly, um or whatever. So, oh guys, I'm up here trying to get ready, and um I think um I got some I'm gonna have some content for y'all. I think I'm gonna be doing the aviation museum today because I'm trying to get my channel um up to a thousand subscribers and i'm trying to get it further than that because i'm trying to use this as income as well so right now and i was looking at my plant too oh guys my plant is getting real big guys y'all can see my sewing machine over here this is like my little office and it's a little cluttered because i'm trying to still downsize everything out of here but you'll see where my plant is growing up more new leaves let me try to zoom in. You'll see where it's growing in brand new leaves. So it's it's growing pretty good, as y'all can see. It's real nice. Yeah. It's a big plant too. It's a um lemon plant. But anyways, guys, um, I'm up here trying to floss my teeth, brush, and then I just use the bathroom, get myself all together. Yeah, guys, I'm still trying to wake up. And I was supposed to be going to the Bible, um, the Bible Museum in Washington, D.C., but pff, all the plans that I wanted to do is just not, it's just not enough money. So I was thinking about going all the way to LaGrange, Georgia today for the Biblical Center. And I'm trying to see what time it is. It's 814. I might go just because it, it would be a nice little outing and it will kind of help my mind get away from all of this stress that I'm having so I'm trying to debate if I'm gonna go there um and I do have some things I gotta do before I can choose to go there because I um sold something last night and well actually I sold some on the fourth and I didn't even know guys so I'm like what the hell and they're not even eBay not even properly giving me notifications so come to find out, I didn't sit here and um and I don't never use my um RV TV, but sometimes I use the radio. Let me show y'all the radio. 
people that already they already know about it but you can't see it that good because it's kind of uh daybreak but uh, anyways they i sold the um sets of pencils um oh i sold the sets of pencils on um the fourth and today is the sixth and i didn't find out about it until yesterday so i'm like i gotta figure out what's going on with my notifications because i could have lost out on the sale and I had to refund it because you have like three business days to get it shipped out and they said i gotta ship it by the seventh so it was a good thing i uh created the label today they gonna sit there and charge me 488 directly to my um card come to find out if you have like a card on file and you specifically say that it can be for any type of fees they'll draw it out from there so i had to remove my card that was on file so they will continue to just take it out of the pro the net proceeds because they all my years of selling on ebay they never charge me for shipping they just um, remove it from the customer after the customer paid for all the shipping fees the seller fees and all of that like the sales tax that's what i was trying to say once they pay for the sales tax the pencils not the pencils but whatever they buy from me then what they do is they deduct all their fees ebay including like the shipping label and all of that they'll deduct it from the uh the buyer and then they will send me the difference. And then when I create the label, they'll just deduct it from the amount that the buyers paid. But instead, I was thinking like something went wrong. And then I figured out it was because I put a card on file. So I had to remove the card. But um, they pretty much already charged me $4.88. And then they sent me $17.20 for the sale. So I, um, when I calculated it, it seemed like they gave me back the um the shipping costs because the pencils were like thirteen ninety eight um because they paid for two two pencils and the pencils were a total of six ninety nine so I'm real bad with math guys so if you say six um six plus six I don't even know because I get confused with the six ninety nine but anyways I calculated when I get off of here but anyways i made a sale today i i actually been selling like almost like every day every other day but i had to refund the other ones because they wasn't on shipping but this one was on shipping so i got this sale thank goodness now i gotta wait a couple of business days for them to send the money to my ebay uh not my ebay but my uh checking account that i have on file with them to send my proceeds to when i make sales so that that was a blessing once i get that it'll kind of bring up the amount to about 26 dollars so that can kind of help with like a little few little nick ninny nanks nin and crannies nothing major now i'm praying that the most high help me sell the rest of my stuff but this video getting long I'm ranting i'm not talking about a lot but yeah i gotta go ship that and i actually got it ready to go i got it ready to go i'm gonna show y'all so let me show y'all so um let me put it right here and y'all will be all right this is my damn video so let me get it out my bag so because i um got it all shipped up ready to go and yeah i got my shipping label got my tracking and um shipping label and stuff ready to go and I had it um really nice nicely wrapped um so I got it all shipped got my label on there and everything so I got my label and all of that on the top had to do that to protect my customer um address and stuff but yeah I got the shipping label on there and I got this to protect, protect it while it's in my bag so don't then get on the paper because they have to scan that in when I go to USPS so they can, um, then I get the shipping, um, proof that I shipped it with the actual physical, uh, shipping label. And that way I put it inside of my little, uh, money bag. And, um, that's pretty much how I do, guys. So, um, let me put this up because but anyways um i have like a money bag that uh it's like a 
an old money bag that's I don't even know what the hell I did with it. I'm up here. Oh yeah, let me let me show y'all. I put my um business receipts when I um make sales on on my plat my selling platforms. Cause I also have a square. So I can take people's payments wherever I am. I don't have to be online. But I got two of them. Two of these money bags. And I put my uh business receipts inside of these bags and i done had these for years some uh a bank gave me these some kind of way i got these from an old bank because you know they're not in business no more i don't think i think it's wells fargo now they might have took over them but i got i got two of these and i keep receipts and um all type of uh, business transactions i put them in here so once i get uh once they scan it in then i'm gonna put that in there Oh God, once I scan that in. But guys, it's like 10 minutes long. I'm just running my damn mouth and y'all don't be. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Again, uh, what I was trying to say was once I get myself cleaned up and I drop this off because my phones ain't charging, but I do have like a those old fashioned uh, GPSs that don't need internet. I might can use that because I totally had forgot about that. But sometimes it be acting up where it don't stay charged and stuff. So I might use that and then um, go from there. Jump on the road like that. And if I can do that, I might just go that route. But if not, I might be going to the aviation um, museum and I'll be doing that uh, for some so y'all can have some content. And then I got to go to the library to do some more work. But if not, if I do see where I can drive all the way to LaGrange, it's a two hour and a half drive. So um, I'm not sure if I might get like a hotel room or stay in my car because I have camped out in my car before. But um, I need to save money and I'm already down low with money in the admission. I think it's like $21 for the biblical um thing admission. So I don't know. I'll, I'll decide, guys. I don't know. I'll get back with y'all today. Because I'm going to be adding on videos to this. All right. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. I'm at Walmart. And then I'm going to go to the Aviation Museum. So that's the content that I'm going to be doing today. I decided not to drive all the way to LaGrange, Georgia. You got to pay for the admission. At least with this place. It's not going to use up my gas. It's in the local area. Not too far from my RV. And it's free admission. And it's at the Air Force Base. It's their museum. I've been there before. But it's been a while. And I really wanted to go out and do something else. But I just leave that for another time. Because there's too much going on with me. And then I found um, a dental place that I was telling y'all about. But um, they really get in your business, man. Especially when they're offering you like low dental or no dental cost at all. And so this tooth back here is it's like the feeling has left from it but i might reach out to yaki awakening and just deal with him because like he was saying our people don't need to be using they um they dentist anyway because they make your teeth worse so i'm trying to decide if i'm a because they want you to do a lot i gotta go to the georgia department of labor to prove that i'm not working and they have that unemployment paper and or she's she was like i see that you're um self-employed you have your own business i said yeah it's not um licensed and she was like oh okay i'm telling you man they be nosy as hell i'm like just because you saw a footnote don't mean you shouldn't have asked me to, to verify instead of just assuming when you saw that and um basically um I'm, I'm at walmart trying to get that hot plate so i'm not using up my rv gas propane so guys i'm just all over the place right now i had packed me a lunch to keep me from um eating eating out because that should be adding up so now i'm about to walk into walmart let me about to walk into walmart i don't want to be showing people tags but um yeah i'm trying to make sure my doors are locked but yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna tag y'all along. I got, um, is uh, what I was finna say? Yeah, I went to the dental office to see if they can print out all them goddamn forms that they had sent to me. And, um, and they said, they, well, I haven't asked them if they can do it that way, but I was like, well, since I'm on the way, um, in that area, 
I went all the way over there and they was closed. I was like, damn, I shouldn't have emailed them to ask. Cause she said just ask questions there, but I ain't have time to be waiting on her to reply to no email. So I'ma just I know I'm supposed to be trying to move, but I'm still not getting my background check for the state parks and getting approved for hire for the camp um host. So until I get that situated, um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. And so I'm trying to just do two birds and one stone. Go ahead and get registered with a a, a low cost or no cost at all dental place that's willing to work with me and I can get in a program that way if I don't move I'll still be able to get to a dentist or the backup plan would be Yaki um he I know him and he's a herbalist and I'm gonna go through him if if I don't go through them and then just heal my tooth uh naturally um so it's not giving me the pain that it did it's just that it hurts a little bit on this side when I try to bite on it it's one of those two um, are missing some of the filling or either I need a, 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 a new uh, filling. It's either one or the other. So guys, um, anyways, guys, I'm about to walk into uh, Walmart. So I'll show y'all the hot plate once I get it. I'm not sure how much it's going to cost, but I'm going to try to get a cheap one because they normally don't cost that much, but shit, I don't know. Because it's been a minute since I got a hot plate. My mom used to get my parents not my mom my parents because they were married and stayed married until my dad passed away rest in peace daddy and i miss them too um anyways guys i'm gonna walk into walmart and get this and then i'll talk to y'all later because I, I think i might end up going through yaki and getting his stuff for 40 dollars but that it does take a while to heal up if you go that route but it it's not like, I'm not sure, but like he said, he he has healed his cavities. So I got two options. Go through him and be done with it, and it'll just take time over time. Or go through the dental option, which will be very long because they said they got bagged up logs for new um, comers. So we'll see. So guys, I decided to um, not go with this because it, it wasn't for me. I decided to go with this two-piece and it's so cute in color and it comes with a non-stick skillet. Um, so it's like a stove top. Then I found this jumper starter and I was so mad because I already got one from um, Amazon. This is the one that I got from Amazon. It's smaller and it can fit in my trunk and it doesn't take up space. It does the same thing, air compressor and jump starter. You don't need no other car or no one else to, to jump you off. You can just jump start on your own. And it comes with an air compressor as well. And you'll see all the information was 12 volt, suitable for gasoline or diesel. So that's all that comes in it and it's smaller so it can fit in my trunk real tiny.
Hey guys, um, please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, is this um, aviation museum is pretty big. I'm at the Air Force Base and um, I got my hand in there. I just freaking noticed that. My battery is low, so I'm not going to be able to go um, to all the places. It's pretty, it's pretty big. I've been here um, years ago, so it's been a minute. And this place is huge. Some parts of it be, I think all of it be open. This is the uh, century of flight. Um, I think I've been in there, but I can't remember. But it's it's pretty big. And um, let me see. Hey guys so i hope y'all enjoyed it i didn't have enough time to do everything because it's a lot i'm probably not coming back out here they real racist i forgot how racist they are out here very fucking racist and it's more like people in higher positions in the military in this particular county nothing but edomites um and i know somebody that um this uh, retired veteran and he be coming over here and he even admitted to it he said they are racist he said because they treat him differently um or whatever but guys um man my own uh, Israelite family line when you wear your fringes you um do some to them damn heathens they always I'm telling you it's something about them fringes I thought it wasn't a big deal but it is soon as they see you with them fringes on they go to looking down at your sh uh, at your garment looking at you weird um feeling um offended they have like this look on their face where they feel intimidated it's weird i just walked out of um out of there um out of the little aviation part where they fix on the airplanes and um they was doing some type of ceremony but i didn't know what they was doing because because sometimes they do things where you can sit down and learn and get a little history of what's going on so i thought they might have been doing something like that so when i first walked in it was um, one of my people, and you know how they are when they get around them Edomites. They start acting funny, and they both started looking at me and turned their face up and was looking at me strange and kept looking down at my garment. I looked right back at it at, at their ass the same way. And so when I, I heard them say, I heard the Edomite say, what, um, what did she got on the bottom? I heard her say something like that. I could hear real good. And then she's like, oh, I don't like, she kept saying, I don't know like that. And I couldn't make out any more words. Then when I came around, um, I didn't want to ask her, but she was standing, um, the, the same Edomite was standing um, with the host. And I wanted to ask the host because the host was more friendlier. But the host was on the phone checking something for the Edomite that was looking at me strange. So I said, well, let me just go ahead and ask her. I said, um, do you mind me asking, um, what are y'all having over there? And then she was like, she gonna look at me weird. To some, um, she looked down at me like this. She's like, um, we're having a, a retired ceremony. I was like, I was just asking like that. And I did her just like that. I was just asking. Can't stand they funky um dog ass. They ain't them but some damn dogs. Yeah, I said to y'all some fucking dogs, which y'all stanky ass. And I ain't trying to um say all of y'all, but at the end of the day, y'all y'all are our enemy. That's what the Bible say. And y'all don't have to interpret it the same way that I understand it. That's the way um that's the way the Most High gave it to me. I don't care because a lot of y'all y'all be eff, uh, um effing tripping. Y'all sure do. Anyways, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell.